Hello and welcome to Europe 1100. If you'd like to check out the previous series of this mod and its total conversion greatness, then you can by, you know, navigating to the link in the description. Anyway, the point is, this is Europe 1100 updated for the latest version of Bannerlord. As of this recording, it is 1.2.8. And uh, I've got a bunch of other mods installed. You can see the load order and all that wonderful stuff down in the description as well. Anyway, there are so many different cultures to choose from here. As you can quite clearly tell, I'm just going to scroll through a whole bunch of them. And this time around, we're going to be playing as a little bit of a different slant on things. Because in my previous series of Europe 1100, I played as a Viking, or shall we say a Nordic warrior of some kind, and I attempted to try to become as good as I possibly could with my trade skill, and, well, <laughs> suffice it to say, uh, some things happened, it was rather dramatic, and, well, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to spoil, just in case you haven't seen that. We're going to be playing as a Scottish culture here, I'm, I was kind of deciding between Scottish, Welsh, and Irish, Mostly because they have absolutely amazing cultural bonuses here. And this is kind of what I was wanting to go for mostly. I was wanting to start in the British Isles, basically. So anywhere around there would be absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, the mod does not start you in these particular locations. It is randomized at the moment. So... That's obviously going to make, uh, but maybe it's going to be a, bit, a little bit difficult. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Anyway, we're just going to do a little bit of randomization here. And uh, this, uh, what, what else do I want to do here, actually? We're just going to do this. We're going to, uh, I'm actually not entirely sure. I think the hair color is actually not too bad. To be honest, I think that could be, um, that could that could be fine. I Sure, why not? And let's just make him have a little bit longer hair. There we go. All right, that seems pretty fine to me. All right, so what are we going to be good at? Well, I'm thinking we're probably going to be a bow person. Yes, I'm going to try to use bows here. It's been a while since I've done that. So I'm thinking to myself, yeah, maybe it's a fun idea to try it out once again. So let's see, what, are we, what else do we have here? Athletics, roguery, tactics and leadership. No, we'll just go for that for the renown bonus. We'll be age 30, just in case we want to have some children, just in case we want to do things like that. And once again, we are going to be picking the classic bear banner because that's what I tend to do almost every single time. Just because he's bear tilled, of course, he's bear tilled, yes. And we're going to be calling ourselves bear tilled, as I just said. And we are also going to be going for Bruce. Why not? Let's go for Bruce. There you go. That kind of makes sense. And we're going to just play on realistic here. Generally, I, I, I'm i not entirely convinced I like the realistic damage for the player, especially considering it does kill you super, super fast. But uh, let, let's leave it on that for the moment, okay? Let's leave it on that for the moment. If I do end up getting killed a huge amount from thrown weapons or ranged attacks from across the map, then I will <laughs> probably turn it down to about half because that's annoying, in my opinion, at least. I find that to be quite annoying. Anyway, here we go. We've got some focus points and all that wonderful stuff, but I'm actually just going to move real quick just so that I gain a level. So I gain one additional focus point here and we're just going to be spending it in this. We're going to go for bow control because obviously that's going to get me that 30% accuracy penalty reduction and we're going to go for some riding skill too. Just going to spam that as much as I possibly can. We're going to go for one point in control, one point in endurance. We have enough in both one-handed and two-handed for me at the moment. I'm not really wanting to concentrate on those just yet. Obviously, we will be placing some points in those as time goes on. All right, so the first thing we want to do is actually just go in here, see if, there, see if there's actually a companion that's relatively decent. No, we're not going to be taking her. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Mm, it's going to be a bit of a problem. The main reason why this is going to be a problem is because I don't have any food. As you see, I have zero food. And me buying some is quite expensive, as you can see. How many days is this? 24 days. Okay, that should be perfectly fine. So what I'm actually hoping to do here is actually get some, some trading going. Now, trading obviously is pretty... I feel like it's a pretty decent way to make some cash. 
um, at least early on. And wait a minute, we've got, oh no, never mind. Okay, we've got 20 looters right there. I can't really see myself winning in a battle against 20 looters right now. I would love to be able to attack the seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Fantastic, we got him, we got him. All right, that is exactly what we love to see. All right, so unfortunately, they are actually better. They are actually better than my current combat strength allows. So I'm now in a very uh, troublesome situation where we may in fact lose our very first battle. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, this would be really bad. And uh, because, oh no, this is, oh, this is awful. Oh, there we go, nice damage. Okay, yes, please, come on now, Bruce. You can do much better than that, sir. Yes, there we are. That is what we like to see. Okay, come on now. I'm just gonna try and knock these guys down as best I can. The oh, look at look at my swing speed. My swing speed is just awful. It is absolutely terrible. Um, we cannot rely on me to actually win this. By the way, we are going to have to rely on my forces. I believe. Um, at least my distraction abilities are not exactly terrible, so we should be okay with that. Oh no. Oh dear. Yes, my forces are just getting absolutely murdered right here. Yeah, as you can quite clearly tell. And these guys are going to attempt to murder me with their stones now as well. Which is very possible. They can do a lot of damage with them. So we've got to be careful with that. These guys are going to be exceptional at blocking as well. You know what? I'm just going to get out my bow now. Maybe we can actually do something with this. Or not, as the case may be. Because they're just going to get out their stones. Oh, wow, yeah. This is, this is going to be harsh. And then this is a looter battle. Just imagine that. This is a looter battle, and they're gonna they're gonna switch immediately to their ranged abilities. Can I go back? Yes. There we go. Nice. We got a kill. We've leveled up, which is very nice indeed. And now maybe I'm gonna be able to uh, take this guy down as well. Nice. Oh, 84 damage. That's what we like to see. Okay. Come on now. Okay. This is gonna be. <laughs> That was nice. Okay, I certainly wasn't expecting that. But there you go. Wow, that was probably one of the hardest battles I have ever had in the early game. I can't believe it, to be honest. That is pretty... Ah, that is terrible. That is really, really terrible. Okay, we're going to have to... Um, <laughs> we're going to have to recruit some more troops, to be honest. I feel like that is going to be basically my only course of action. I'm going to have to recruit a whole bunch of troops, but then we're going to have to make sure that we have a significant amount of money to pay for them, Still of course. Yeah, we're going to have to actually just, you know, we're going to have to pay these guys, unfortunately. I, I don't really want to do that, of course, but I have to. There is nothing I can do to fight them at this particular health level. And you've seen my You've seen my current accuracy, you know, you've seen my current accuracy with my bow. It's going to be absolutely impossible for me to win in an outnumbered situation, which is very sad to me, to be honest. I feel like that is very, very sad. Anyway, I did. Oh, wow. There are so, there are so many villagers in the area, but there are no people that want to join. It is very sad indeed to see that, too. Look at this. Where are they all? Uh, it seems like they're all being... They're all being recruited by a bunch of vassals, no doubt, which is, uh, it's, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Okay, wait a minute. Let's actually just have a look. See here, what do we have? Caravan ambush. Unfortunately, I will not be able to participate in that. That is going to be impossible. And otherwise, oh, we can do this. That's, um, yeah, we've got some noble troops here as well. But obviously, noble troops, that's not really going to help us either. Art of the Trade, nope. That is not going to be too good either. We really do need to find maybe a villager task or something like that. We do have a looter party here, which we could potentially beat. Maybe. We've got seven Frankish levies. Maybe we could do it. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. The only problem that I'm seeing right now is that we're at 59% HP. I do have a focus point to spend, so I'm probably going to spend that into one-handed. Mm, I'm probably going to use a shield. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking maybe going for a shield would be pretty decent for us. I would like to also go for some charm skill and maybe some trade skill as well. Just a little bit of trade, just so that we can get the rumors, um, you know, a little bit more accessible. 
because that's obviously going to make things much, much easier for us in regards to making some cash, if we need to at least. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tell my forces to charge in here, and I'm actually going to try to distract the enemy, or at least do some damage to their back line. I was actually hoping that more of them would be following me, but they don't seem to be doing that. Oh, that guy's got a massive two-handed. That is not good. That is very bad indeed, actually. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, that guy's dead at least. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, come on. You, there, you, there's only... There's only... Uh, there we go. There's only two of them remaining. There's only one of them remaining. Can you please win? No, apparently not. <laughs> what is going on with these early battles? That's all I can say. Whew. They are insanely difficult. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. All right, so there you go. We've got a bunch... Ah, very nice. Arm wraps. Okay, that's good. And what am I currently using right now? I'm using a Norse hatchet. Okay, and we've got a mountain hunting bow. Okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. Okay, well, my capacity is exceeded, so that's obviously going to mean that I am indeed running much, much slower than I should be. But that's fine, as long as we don't come across any other looters in the area. But I'm going to assume that we will. So, hopeful that I'm going to find some... Oh, no. Hopeful that I'm going to find some more people here, to be honest. We're having some issues actually just finding troops right now. That is the uh, that is my main concern here, which is very surprising because I actually thought that I'd have more problems finding money rather than um, rather than actual people. But apparently not. Apparently, keeping them alive is extremely difficult for some reason. I don't know why. They just seem to get get themselves killed very easily. Anyway, there we go. We've got another a little bit of money, which obviously is absolutely fantastic. We really do want this. And ah, here we go. We are actually starting to get a little bit of trade rumors here. So you can see here that I can buy butter, for example, and I can sell this at Paris for 32 which might actually make sense. Let me actually just have a look-see here. Is there anything better? Is there anything that's... Ooh, flax is actually very good and very cheap as well. So we could potentially buy a little bit of that. I would like to buy a horse. Uh, yes, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah. So this is exactly the problem now. I don't have enough troops to be able to hold decent amounts of cargo and I don't have enough horses to be able to make that work either. So what I'm actually hoping that we can do here is maybe I can just wait for a little bit of time. Maybe I can get these guys. I don't know. Maybe I mean, maybe this is a pretty decent trade route anyway, because Paris isn't that far away. So technically, we could make good use of it. But you can see exactly the reason why we're having some issues. I mean, really, you know, the, these these fellows are literally just not surviving any single battle. Oh, these losers are going to get catch up to me, aren't they? Okay, well, there's Paris right there. Hopefully, I'll be able to escape. I don't have a huge amount of people with me right now, so it should be fine. Let's sell. Uh, I'm just going to ransom the prisoners. Why not? And is this the same one? Yeah, this is the same the same companion. So I'm not really looking to uh, to recruit her right now. But yeah, you can see here that I purchased the flax for four, and I can now sell it for 15, which is obviously, I mean, it's a very minor amount of profit, but it is still going to be a little bit of profit, you know, it's going to enable me to actually get a mule, which I think is decent. And obviously my trade skill is not going to be something that I'm really going to be focusing on, but it is definitely going to be something that I would like to try to maximize just a little bit here. I could get some beer, but the problem with beer is that it's going to be, well, shall we say, consumed by my troops. So uh, that might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, that's the reason why I tend to prefer, at least early on, whenever you're doing any kind of trade, I tend to prefer taking things that are not consumable, just in case you get delayed for any reason or another. So here's the thing. What we could do now is... Wow, there's basically no one around here that I can recruit. It's it's extremely... Wow. This is very, very difficult, actually. I'm very surprised that it is just so incredibly rare to recruit troops from these areas. I would have expected a lot more availability, but obviously the... Um, the AI is literally just running around and recruiting as many as they can. And I mean, of course they are, you know, they want to try to build up their armies as well. I don't, um, <laughs> I'm not begrudging them that, but it is harsh. It is a super harsh way of doing it right here. 
So I'm not sure how that's going to go. Okay, let's just try and fight these guys. Did I level up, by the way? No, I didn't. But I did level up my riding skill a little bit. Okay, so I am probably going to go for the charge damage. Even though right now my charge damage is pretty terrible. But I'm kind of hoping that if it is capable of dealing a little bit of charge damage, it's going to make a small difference. So if I do five damage or something like that, maybe it's going to finish off one of the opponent. Maybe that would help, you know? That's kind of what I'm hoping here. Anyway, let's see if I can actually do some damage with my bow. I'm, I'm highly, highly doubting that I will be able to. Ah, here we go. This is kind of what I wanted to do right here. This is what I wanted to do in the previous battle, actually. I wanted to get my forces to charge in versus a minority force in comparison to the majority that we had in the previous battle. I'm kind of hoping that my forces will actually do something because they seem to be absolutely useless. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with them, but they do seem to be pretty terrible at what they do. I have no idea why. I mean, they're, they're outnumbering those looters dramatically, but I'm going to assume that the looters actually have pretty decent stats in comparison to the volunteers that we currently have. So the only thing that I can really do is just hope that I can do this again, you know, basically just <laughs> having some kind of distraction. I mean, look at this. Look at these guys. They, they've literally just died. They, <laughs> they literally just die every single time. I could actually use the pitchfork, though. Hmm. The pitchfork is looking pretty nice for me right now. I may be thinking that we want to use this, but it does do only 22 piercing damage, which is pretty awful, uh, you know, all things considered. That is pretty terrible, so I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to go, but we did get some nice loot, and that's all that really matters, really, I suppose. And it is going to propel us towards Clan Tier 2, which, of course, is a thing that we really do need to get because that's going to enable us to field more than 20 troops. If I can even get 20 troops, it seems like that's an impossible task right now. It's probably one of the... Um, th th this, I gotta say, I, you know, I think this is probably the most difficult start that I have ever had in Bannerlord. With the exception of that one time where I literally just got myself taken prisoner almost instantly. Um, <laughs> but actually... You know what's funny about those times? When you get yourself taken prisoner, it's it's like, well, it's just a reset. You know, you just get a bit of a reset. Sure, you do lose, uh, you know, your investment in your troops and so on and so forth. Obviously, you're not going to be, you know, fielding people um, anymore. But at least you have <laughs> something done. You know, you ha you, you've, you've done something, you know. Ah, uh, well, never mind. I, I guess it's not really that big a deal. I, I just have to try my best to try and find people to recruit as best as I possibly can. Now, the main issue that we're going to have in Europe 1100 as well, if you haven't played this mod before, the main issue is going to be traveling. Because there is a, a very clever system in place so that you have to plan your advancement quite, um, quite thoroughly, yes, shall we not. say. Because here's the thing, uh, I can't actually move the camera now, I don't think, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in just a second. I'm going to go for some more handling here, and I have the ability to spend a focus point in something else. So what should we actually go for? Right now I'm thinking we're going to go for trade, or maybe charm. Yeah, Charm is looking pretty good for me right now, actually, because I would like to get that plus three renown when a tournament is won. I'm not going to be showing too many tournaments unless it's a super, super difficult one, and most of them are probably going to be pretty tough, at least early on. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, the point is, the traversal system in Europe 1100 is very interesting, because basically how it goes is there are ferry stations all over the world and basically they allow you to travel across the water you know as you might expect of course you know it's pretty pretty obvious right yeah well here's the thing with that once you have you know a significant army or an army that is relatively large and I'm talking about I don't know 50 to 100 150 troops maybe more than that if you are um, you know doing relatively well once you have that, it's going to cost you a lot. It's going to cost you a huge amount to go through these ferry stations. 
So, the best course of action to take is to purchase your own ship. And you can indeed do that in this mod. You can purchase your own ship and, uh, well, ships, shall we say, and that will then enable you to travel anywhere you like. And they do have a persistent presence on the map. So, for example, um, I remember in the previous series of Europe 1100, I had, um, I had some ships, I had a fleet, and I was, you know, deciding to go somewhere else, and I landed on the shore of some place or another, and I uh, left my ships on the shore there, and you know what happened? I forgot where I placed my ships. Mm-hmm. Yes, I forgot where I placed my ships. And so you can imagine my um, <laughs> my rather wonderful reaction to that was, where did I place my ships? I have no idea. Yes, and that's exactly what happened. So it does have persistence in that regard, which I think is actually very cool. Because of course it is. You know, from a realistic perspective, of course, you're going to, you know, place your ship somewhere and then you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, we're going to have to remember where that is. So, in my opinion, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, there are no things that I can buy here that are actually going to sell for a decent amount. So, I'm going to have to... I'm just going to uh, recruit... Oh, well, we, we can barely recruit anyone, but we did... Uh, yeah, we've got some crossbowmen now, which I think is relatively good. We're, we're seemingly doing a little bit better than we were beforehand. There is actually a tournament going on here, but you know what? I actually feel like I don't really want to go into the tournament. I feel like that's probably going to be mm, maybe a little bit too dicey. I don't know. I think that might be a bit too much of a waste. I think it might actually literally be a waste of, um, of money. Because if we go in there and we actually bet on ourselves, it's 150 per bet, isn't it? Or something like that. Yeah, if, if something like that happens, then we're... Uh, you know, and then we end up losing. Well, that's a huge amount of money that is, well, just going to waste. And that is not what we want. Ow. Oh, no. Yeah, get them. Charge into them. There we go. Whew. Okay, come on now. Let's just try to interrupt them as best as we can. That's all I really want to do. And if I do get myself taken down, then that's just how it's going to have to be. I'm going to tell my forces to charge, including the crossbowmen. Because if they want to go into melee, then they can indeed do that. Whoa, I'm actually getting some pretty decent kills right here. I'm surprised. All right, there you go. We were able to do something amazingly enough. And, ooh, oh, no, 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 this axe is not so good. Oh, this is pretty decent, though. There we go. Just going to wear that. Thank you very much. It's nice that we've actually gotten ourselves a little headpiece, even though the headpiece is not really going to protect me that much. But early on... Getting some armor, it's really going to make a big difference, especially against these lower tier enemies. But yeah, th that's the reason why I kind of think, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm probably not going to go into a tournament this early on, because I just do not have enough cash to sustain myself as it is. So if I do end up losing, I mean, that's the thing. It very much depends on, on how you feel about your own combat ability. For me personally, my combat ability is... Uh, mixed, you know, sometimes I'll do amazingly and sometimes I'll do absolutely awfully. And so I generally don't want to chance that right now, but I would love to buy some additional flax and we're just going to buy a whole bunch of it. Going to buy 45 of this stuff and it's only, I, I mean, look at this. I still didn't, I, I didn't spend any money whatsoever and we can go over to Paris now and hopefully we can sell it for a wonderful, wonderful price. And that's going to get me some trade skill, of course. Ah, oh, we got some looters. Are you really wanting to fight me? Do they? Do they really want to fight me? Oh, we've got some level ups too. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. We're going to continue going for crossbowmen here. Generally, if you are starting off in Bannerlord, and I'm talking about Bannerlord in general here, I personally, if you foresee yourself going for a bunch of bandits, so for example, if, you, if you're, you know, someone that wants to grind on bandits a whole bunch, I would personally recommend going for ranged troops. Because if you go for ranged troops, it is much more likely for them to get kills without putting themselves in danger. And that obviously, inevitably, makes sense. Because if you're able to maintain your forces as much as possible, you're going to have a much higher success rate later down the line. And you can see here that my crossbowmen are actually coming in. They're shooting these guys. And boom, look at that. Most of my forces didn't even get touched. 
and that's kind of the whole purpose behind getting ranged trips. Obviously, if you're an experienced player, you don't really need to listen to my tips and strategies and so on and so forth. But if you're not and you're just starting off or whatever, then that is something that I think could be useful to you if you wondered what I do and what I am doing as a result. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to get some arm wraps there. We actually just upgraded those a little bit. And uh, I'm very much hoping, hmm, did I actually level up just now? I think I did, right? I think I leveled up just now. The autosave takes an age, so I might actually decide to change that because, it's, oh no, I didn't level up. Oh, sad. Oh well, never mind. Okay. But yeah, anyway, the point is, uh, I might have to change the auto saving uh, auto saving option to save a little bit longer or something like that because it seems to delay us quite a bit. Anyway, let's just go over to here. Let's see how much we're actually going to get. So it's 19 per one, and look at that. We're going to get 714 gold, which is actually a significant amount if you can believe it. Really? They don't like this? Okay, apparently they don't like this. For me personally, I feel like the legendary commoner tunic is actually better than what I'm wearing, but mm, I don't know. I'm gonna gonna just leave it the way it is right now, and I'm just gonna take a quick look and see if there's anything that we can buy here and then sell somewhere else. For example, we could buy some olives, but again, as I said to you beforehand, buying consumables is always a little bit of a bit of a risk because things can happen, and then you're well, then you're gonna have some problems. Uh-huh. Okay, I can buy fur for 186 here, and I can sell it at Orléans for 543. That is actually crazy. Can I actually make that work? I actually wonder whether I can make that work. I'm going to pay 1200. No, that's not going to work. Okay, I can I can buy 7 of them, and I'm going to pay 500. Okay, let's do it. I'm taking a huge risk here, okay? This is a massive risk, but Orléans is only over here. It's not that far away. Bear in mind, I am going to be going to the British Isles as soon as I possibly can because I want to try and get, um, you know, English or Scottish or Irish troops. And I want to be able to use those. As you can see, the furs are going to sell for a massive amount here. 2,800. Well, that was not so much of a risk then, was it? No, it seems to actually be paying off dividends right here. We could buy some olives, but again, consumables. Is there anything else that I can maybe purchase here for a decent amount? Buy some silver ore, can sell it at Paris for 313. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. What about uh, anything else? Ooh, wait, no, no, wait. <laughs> That's just the furs. That's just, literally just the furs that I'm selling right here. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Seven skill points in trade, 15. All right, we're going to go for another point in trade right here, and I'm thinking we'll probably go for another point in Vigor. I really... Mm, I like I like getting attribute points a lot a lot quicker than, than what they've currently, you know, set it up as, but... Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, we've got some Master Crossbowmen now as well, which is actually very nice. Of course, if you're thinking about creating an extremely powerful army, you're not really going to get that out of Peasant Troops. But that's exactly what we have here. I mean, these are going to be the bread and butter of our army going forward until we have the funds, which is exactly the reason why I'm placing such a heavy emphasis on earning cash as fast as we possibly can. Because if we have the ability to fund a massive amount of noble troops, then our army will become so much more powerful. We'll be able to join a faction as a mercenary or whatever we want to do. And then we'll be able to enter those battles and actually have a chance of winning. All right, so I said I'm not going to show the tournaments, but I'm actually going to go into the tournament here just purely for the fact that I am intrigued as to what could happen. I do have quite a lot of money right now for, you know, <laughs> I mean, for the relative newness shall we say of our character so maybe it's gonna go okay maybe it's not but we do have some male mittens here and we could potentially sell those for a decent amount obviously i mean i am going in here with 79 percent hp which is not exactly great ow okay well that's not very good okay uh yeah uh this is uh, you know what i'm just gonna help this guy yeah, there we go. That was easy enough. And don't get killed, sir. Okay, no. Uh, my one-handed skill shouldn't be too bad. 
Oh, the red team helping out his friend right there. There we go. Okay, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get don't get shot. That is all I'm that's all I'm saying right now. <laughs> Just don't get shot. Okay, come on now. Can I help him out? Nope, apparently not. I can get on his horse though. I can get on his horse. No, don't don't poke me. Don't poke me. Thank you very much. I would appreciate that. Ah, there we go. We actually eliminated them. If we can eliminate the blue team and maybe the gold team. There's the gold. Oh no, the gold team is not dead yet. We've got one person on our side. I need to I need to protect him actually. So I'm going to try and run into this guy. Yes, nice damage. Nice. Nice combo attack right there from our teammate. Nice. Yeah, we are through 100% to the next round because there's only two teams remaining. So I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> it's nice that we got ourselves a horse, actually. It's going to make a big, big difference. Hopefully my friend will actually be able to do some damage to this fellow. Because otherwise it's going to take a remarkably long time to defeat this fa this, this this fellow f fan of ours. Uh, uh, it's great, isn't it? Uh, absolutely wonderful. He's he's really not a fan, though, is he? He's a Frankish sergeant man at arms. Of course he is. Can I use my I can use my crossbow? Okay, let me see. Can I hit Can I hit him? Nope. Yeah, well, I, 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 can I shoot? The, oh, I can actually shoot this on horseback. This is cool. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. No, I certainly wasn't expecting that. Okay, so yeah, now we can move on. All right. Well, that was that was quite encouraging. It was quite encouraging. I, I'm gonna reserve judgment here. Maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna do okay. I'm gonna have to really assist this guy super super hard here. Okay, here we go. No, no, sir. Are you serious? No. Nope. Nope. No way. Not in a million years. No. The uh, the teammate. He just he just got himself killed. I, I, there's no way that I can win in a one versus two. Not in a million years. Not not with the new AI at least. Yeah. You know, I I might have been able to do it beforehand, but the new AI is so so good now. It's just not really going to work for me, unfortunately. Anyway. There you go. We had a little bit of fun there at least. So, you know, that's absolutely fine. And otherwise, what we can do is we can just recruit a couple more here. Ah, we've got the in and out quest. Mm, usually the in and out quest would be something that I would be very interested in doing. But they changed it a number of patches ago. So it actually doesn't really do much for you. Unless you are really good at the uh, the board game that they have in um, in Bannerlord. So yeah, I'm, I'm personally not very good at that. And uh, well, t to be fair, I haven't actually played it for a lot of time. I, I tried to understand it very early on. But um, yeah, it's not that easy, at least for me. It looks as though the price of flax has gone down. So me selling it here is probably going to dry up relatively soon. As you can see, it literally only gives me 571. I might be able to buy some furs. No, no, no. They don't have any additional furs here uh, since the last time, which is very sad indeed, isn't it? But that doesn't mean anything because we've got enough cash for us to literally go anywhere we like now because we do have Back a pretty off, small army right here and speaking of that i am actually going to be going into this battle which is 25 looters strong so this is going to be <laughs> maybe 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 it's going to be something that we're going to lose i actually don't know i don't think so surely surely we can't lose right surely we can't lose okay so what we're going to do is i'm actually just going to place myself in the uh, commander role for my infantry here. And we're just going to move these guys a little bit ahead. And then I'm going to have to do a little bit of distracting. I'm talking about a lot, a lot of distracting here. Nice headshot. Can we get another one? I mean, this is going to be pretty easy for me to distract. As long as I don't get hit. That's the only thing. As long as I don't get hit, we should be fine. Because the stones, hilariously enough, actually deal massive damage. They do. They do do a lot of damage if you are uh, getting hit by, you know, five of them at once. As you can see. Yes, look at that. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I'm going to get on my pitchfork now. And we're actually going to see how much damage this can do. Oh, I got hit. Of course I did. Uh, isn't that wonderful? Yes. Getting hit and then immediately getting interrupted in your attack animation. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic and a half, isn't it? Okay, well, maybe my one-handed will have to do then. Oh, it seems like they're running. 
they're actually running. And that's also another reason why I personally prefer ranged troops most of the time. Because with ranged troops, you're going to get this. You're going to get this kind of situation where if you're against looters, and I'm, I'm saying specifically looters that do not have any kind of shield, then archers are inherently going to cause a lot of morale damage. And morale damage, well, as you can see, basically causes them to run away. And that's kind of what you want them to do, isn't it? Anyway, let's just continue to get the crossbowmen leveled up. And we've got a lot of loot right here. Very nice. I actually got a new, a new horse. Apparently, I got a new horse somehow. I think I actually purchased this horse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so good. I really do need to find a proper horse here. That's probably going to be the thing that I would want to do, at least. So, yeah, well, we've just looted everything, so we can just move on. I would like to go into Paris's marketplace right now and actually just see whether there is actually a horse available that is not so... Uh, slow? Sluggish? Mm, this one has 22 charge damage, actually. Let's buy this one. There we go. That's definitely going to do a pretty significant amount of damage, especially against looters. So now, what should we do? I think we should probably go over to England, don't you think? Yes, I think that sounds like a really good idea. If we go over to England, I might have the opportunity to find some wonderful trade routes and indeed maybe find some additional uh, bandits as well. Hello there. There is actually a pretty significant bandit party here. I'm kind of wanting to fight them. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So. <laughs> we should be fine, right? We should be fine. I'm, I'm kind of just... I was just checking my HP right there because I was thinking to myself, hmm, yeah, do I do I have enough? Oh, actually, wait wait a minute. <laughs> do I have too many... Do I have too many crossbowmen now? That's the question. I actually don't think I do. I think we're fine. I think we should be okay. And we've got some pretty decent damage to uh, to cause with my bow here as well, if I can actually hit with it, of course. But you see how much damage I'm actually dealing with my charge damage now, which is actually quite funny. And you can see here that I can I can probably deal up to 10 damage with this thing if I go at full speed. And you can see that the distraction capability of it is just amazing too. Because obviously, if you hit them, AI do tend to just charge after you. That's That's pretty much, you know, how they work. And so there you go. Look at that. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I did take some pretty significant damage, but... It, I mean, we, we lost no one. We lost no one, and we're now, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well, because we're actually getting some decent loot, which we can sell for, you know, I don't know, probably 300, 400, 500 maybe, and uh, then we'll then we'll be away, you know? We'll be having a great, great time indeed. Let's actually just take a quick look at my clan tier. Ooh, we're not doing so well in terms of our renown, that's for sure. Okay, so as you can see... We are now going to cross for 200 gold. Now we've got to be a little bit careful about how we do this because if I grow my army too much, too fast, that cost is going to skyrocket. So we have to be a little bit careful about that. We also have to be careful about um, <laughs> leveling up my army because you can see here that my, my expenses at the moment are 109 Best every boss. single day. So that's something to also be very aware of. It means that if you don't have a significant passive benefit in some, some way or another or you don't have a, an active way of producing money. So for example, let's say, you know, you're... I don't know, not in a place that has a bunch of looters. Well, it's going to be a bit difficult, unless you have something else like a caravan or a trade route that is going to be helpful or something along those lines. I have to be a bit careful here because I actually cannot see anything. I cannot see absolutely anything in this particular battle. I can only hope that my crossbowman can, and I'm going to get shot by all of these stones and eventually most likely killed. There we go. Nice damage right there. I, should, I really want to use my bow more, to be honest. I really do want to use my bow more. Can I actually hit that guy? Nope, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we do end, uh, actually end up losing a uh, levy or so every single time we go into one of these battles, just because. But I don't think that that's too bad, is it? Is that too bad? Maybe it is. Maybe that is terrible. I don't know. But yeah, there's nothing to equip here that is an upgrade so we can basically just move on but i am very much looking forward to seeing what kind of trade routes we have available here because as far as i remember 
I think there is a really good one from Ireland to England. I could be wrong about that. It might be Wales. I'm not sure. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out very, very soon. Where is the... Ah, there's Pembroke. Okay, we're going to go over there. And uh, we're going to see exactly what we can uh, what we can get from this. I'm thinking... Wait a minute. Is, is it hardwood that's actually really good here? Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean... As you can see, you can buy hardwood here for 24. I feel like it's going to be, I feel like it's probably going to be cheaper over in Ireland, but I could be wrong about that too. So let, let, let's actually just, you know, reserve judgment for a little bit of time here. Okay, there is actually a tournament going on here as well. Mm, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Don't do a tournament. You suck at tournaments. Yes, I know you're thinking that, but don't worry, don't worry. I think we might be able to win if I'm just a little bit more on my feet, shall we say. A little bit more on my toes, shall we say. I think that's more more accurate. So I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time because I'd like to get my HP back before we do inevitably go into the tournament. I have 3,400 gold. That should be enough to tide me over for a little bit of time. Just so that I don't have to, you know, force it. I don't have to go in straight away. I'm kind of a bit under pressure though because the tournament is no doubt going to end sometime, well, pretty soonish, and I am hemorrhaging money a little bit more than I would like. So that's a bit of an issue in itself. Okay, so I can't go into the tournament just yet, but hopefully in the next day, I'm going to go in in a moment. There we have it. Okay, so let's have a look. There is a Raider Throwing Axe available. I believe you can probably sell that for around 700, or if it's one of the better variants, I can probably sell it for 1300. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do that. It's going to be a free-for-all. Okay, so I'm literally up against one of the... Um, <laughs> I'm actually not entirely sure. Is that a noble? Is that a noble troop? If that's a noble troop, I am going to die. Oh, this is actually not too bad. Uh, should I cheese him? Uh, no, I'm not going to cheese him right now. Okay, that was easy. I'm not entirely sure why that was so easy. Usually these guys are super hard to defeat for me, but okay, never mind. <laughs> two-handed weapons. I actually really like two-handed weapons, so this is a perfectly fantastic place for me to do battle, as it were. Got him. There we go. <laughs> that was so... Oh, these guys. These guys are insane. Anyway, there we go. Okay, now this is a um, this is a two versus two. I'm not a big fan of the two versus twos, primarily because of this situation. I wonder how my teammate is actually doing in terms of HP. I don't think he's gotten hit just yet. Okay, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. There we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, they gave me a, oh, okay. a two-handed axe. All right, that's going to be interesting. I wonder whether it has crush against block. If it does have crush against block, I'm going to have issues if he goes for an overhead. Got him. All right. There we go. A, a couple of feints. A couple of feints seems to kind of mess with them a little bit, but they are just... They're still, in my opinion... <laughs> they're really locked in. That's all I can say. They're really, really locked in. All right. So I should probably take a look, actually. I'm going to go into the troop screen in just a second right here. 
So let's let's just have a look. These guys, they are the, yeah, they are the basic version of the noble troops. So basically, they are they are indeed nobles. And as you can see, they have 160 and two-handed. And obviously, I'm fighting against them. I have 18. So you know, <laughs> I guess you you can just take from that what you will. I'm going to spend a little bit more in trade skill here because I would like to try to be as good as possible when it comes to trading. Wow, there's wow the the food here is so incredibly exp expensive that's um that's kind of crazy i could buy some tools and go back to orleans for example and actually sell those but i don't think that's really going to be that that important considering most of these rumors are probably going to be uh out of date now i assume wait a minute where did i just go where is that other place right here where where is where is that place i don't think I ever went there. Ha Halic? Hal Halic? I, I have no idea. Where, where, where is that? Because I see that on the trade screen, but I don't see that uh, where it is. Because look look at the uh, the pottery right here. Can sell at Halic for 469. I have no idea. I've never heard of this place. Have I? Am I, am I being stupid? Yes, probably. Okay. Uh, oh, it's super far. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Look at that. Why do I have a trade rumor from all the way over there? I have no idea. Why do I have a trade rumor? That is that is very strange. Yes, anyway, we're not going to be going over there. Thank you very much. That is way too far for us right now. 115 gold to go across here. And let's just take a quick look and see what's going on. All right, so we're just going to have to buy some grain. And as you can see, yes, as I thought, it does sell for 700. That's not too bad. I like that quite a bit. And as you can see, you can buy clay here. Now, the main thing that I'm thinking about right now... Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that maybe, maybe it's hardwood. I think it's hardwood to Dublin. If that's true, then I need to go back to England and actually get that. But let's just have a quick look. Let's just see whether that is indeed the case. Because if we take a look here, hardwood, yeah, you can buy it for 21 and then you can sell it here for 48, which is all right. I think that's a decent number, but not actually amazing. So it would be nice if we could maybe buy something else that maybe sells for a little bit more. Uh, most of this is not very good. Linen is okay, but it gives me a, about 100 profit, which is not very good in itself. So, yeah, I'm actually not entirely sure. I guess I'll sell the, the Raider Axes, because, I mean, I might as well, right? And I do have some prisoners here. Oh, who's this fellow? Oh, he's not, uh, he's not anyone that I really want to get, unfortunately. Yeah, so we could go over to the Iron Ore Village here. I think that's probably going to be my best bet for any kind of profit, but I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to find a decent trade route in in and around this area, because as I say, I would like to try and use these units. Mm, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good, so we're going to have to do something about that. Hmm. Alright, well, it seems like Kirkwall is actually under siege right now. Not entirely sure what's going on here. Seems like Norway is attacking it, or uh, wait a minute, is, is it, no, no, wait, y yes, yes, apparently Norway actually took this. Oh, that's very fast, isn't it? That is super, super quick. Anyway, there's another tournament going on here. I'm not going to do that right now. Might do it in the beginning of the next episode, but if you enjoyed the first episode of the new Europe 1100 series, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.